Welcome to the MSET conversion part two. I have gone ahead and I will just show you very quickly that I have a favorite links and I have an about me and I have a home page. I'm going to go ahead and click and go back into my editor. Because this is the MSET portfolio, I'm going to go ahead and label it as such. And I'm also going to do that up here for my site. That just helps me when I'm looking at my overall sites back in Google to tell which one is which. So I've gone ahead and done that. And I like to click on publish on a frequent basis just because that helps me remember it. However, you don't have to do that until the end. But it is a very important part of it. So if you get to the point where you're not seeing the changes that you expect out on your, the website, go back and click on publish. Now, our task here is to take content from a page such as this and lay it out into the new Google Sites format. So there's a couple of ways that I could do that. I could certainly create a text box and then copy and paste all of this content. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. If I clicked text box, that's going to add that in there. And then I can come back to my portfolio page and then hopefully you also have some actual hyperlinks in here. And I can highlight that, copy it, and I can go ahead and paste it. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on publish once more. I'm going to go ahead and click on preview. And that is what it would look like as a very, very basic conversion. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit uh, different in this. I'm going to close my preview. And now I'm back here in my editing space. So one of the things I can do, of course, I can do a couple different things here. Let me go ahead and I'm not going to be able to easily do this. So I'm going to go ahead and click and delete that box altogether. There's a couple things I can do here. I'm going to go ahead and click and add a text box. But this time I'm going to go ahead and shrink this in. Now, one of the things that has been very prevalent in web design these days is the idea of grid combinations. So as I'm resizing this, you can tell or you can see in the background faint gray lines and those are showing me my different grids. Now, once I have a grid, excuse me, once I have two boxes that are somewhat compatible in terms of size, they can land next to each other, I can go ahead and add my uh, content in here. And this is just building out a two column piece. You could, of course, build out three columns if you wanted to, or you could redistribute these columns much like a uh, traditional website where you have a menu bar over here on the right hand side and then you have, say, a content bar over here. So you could have a main page content here and you could have a menu bar and that might end up looking like this where you have your main content over here and maybe you've got some widgets or some other pieces of information running over here on the right hand side. However, because I've got the ability to do that as a two column layout, I'm going to go ahead and redo these so that I can get two columns of content going now. So what I'm going to do to make this easier, I'm going to just copy each course at a time and I'm going to come back over into here and I'm going to paste that. Now the next course that many people take and I'm going to copy is the tools data course and that puts two chunks of content in there. So now I can add another text box and I'm going to line those up the same way. I'm going to add another text box and again now that I can tell that I've got a text box here and a text box here I'm going to go ahead and bring this up into position and I'm going to make sure this one lays out the same as the previous one. Now I can go grab my other course Once more, I can go ahead and grab my other course. And so now I'm going to click on publish. And of course, this is just simply a fictitious page. So unfortunately, I really don't have any content of, 
of any substance here. But now this lays out in terms of a two column page and that's pretty nice. But I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more things that could be a little bit fancier. The first thing I want to do or show you guys is that over here on the right hand side, Google has this component called the divider. It adds a very soft little line and there it is. And I can click and add it or drag it rather to the location where I want it to land. So if I wanted to add a divider to break up my top content with my bottom content, I could do that. I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, series of text boxes for my electives and I'm going to add that elective content in here and so I'm going to pause the video and do that and I'll be right back. Okay I've gone ahead and added all of my course content for the MSCT program. I'm going to go ahead and click on preview and there is my content laid out. So that's